Okay, the tip of the week today is going to be on the, on the heavy trucks and about scales and everything. And uh, I'm going to let my, uh, my right hand man, Jeff Marshall, here, it's been with me 30 years. He's going to tell you all about the heavies and all about the scales and uh, everything you ever wanted to know. So here's Jeff Marshall. Hello, everybody. Uh, the biggest thing is to know your weights. Today we're uh, working on a 388 feet. The gross vehicle weight for this vehicle is 72,600. We have a 9055 Citrix. The integrated maximum tow rating for it is 55,000 pounds fully retracted, 17,000 pounds fully extended. But our biggest concern is to get these vehicles to be able to pass from the purple permit or the heavy haul permit from Calpern. And to do that, we have to adjust the vehicle so that each axle, the drives, the two drive axles and the drop axle are within 10% of each other, empty and loaded. And that we have onboard scales, that the scales will accurately read how much weight those three axles are carrying within 5%. And uh, where are those scales mounted? We mount the scales. The scales are required to be mounted within the cab, within driver's view. We just mount it right close to the door where he can get back up. He can see what the weights are. The axle, if it has inside cab controls that control the axle to raise and lower the drop axle, that has to be removed and placed to the outside of the cab so the driver can't be driving down the road and raising and lowering the axle. The the truck normally comes with an air regulator valve that's adjustable, that you can adjust how much pressure goes into the drop axle. We have to take that offline and we add a valve that will compensate for this. It will pick up how much pressure is on the two drive axles and then it will add the air or take away air from the drop axle as needed. Yep. Okay. Uh, right now we're going to if you'll notice that we've got this truck, we got it setting on pad scales, individual scales. We, we weight each individual wheel as it touches the ground. And the reason why we have to do that, that way we can adjust the weights on these axles. A, a platform scale is great for knowing how much weight your truck has is, is got or what, you, what the load that you have on it. But we, to get this truck ready for the inspection, we have to use platform scales and we scale all the wheels. Okay, and uh, once they're calibrated, then what's the next step? Well, and once we have the vehicle calibrated at an empty, then we go ahead and put a, uh, put a load on it. And you can see I've got a little three axle, 388 feet ready. That's what we're using as, as the, the dead lake to uh, calibrate the system with. Okay, and then after that, what happens? Once we have the vehicle to the point where it is within 10% of each other on the axle and the scales are correct, we have to call the Caltrans inspector. He comes in, puts his scales underneath the vehicle. We load it again. He makes sure that everything that we have prepared is done correctly and that we are within their parameters and then they can get a heavy weight permit on this truck. The reason why the onboard scales are so important, number one, you know how much weight you're carrying. That way when you pull up to the scales, you don't get that overload ticket or you know that you're carrying the correct amount of weight for the type of vehicle that you're towing it with. That way you don't overload your vehicle and break and damage it. So. I see. And uh, now how long does this usually take to install a set of scales? 
It usually takes about eight hours to install the scales. It takes another four to five hours to get them all adjusted in. So you're looking at 12 to 15 hours to get the truck ready. And then whenever the Caltrans inspector is available, it takes approximately an hour to get that inspected doing that. I see. And should all uh, trucks this size have scales on Definitely. them? Definitely. You would need, you've got to know how much weight you're carrying. That way, not only if you're not even going to cross the scales, that way you know that you're carrying the correct weight, you safely can carry that weight, and you're not endangering the public. Okay, and how long have you been doing this, Jeff? Uh, we've been, I've been with this company 31 years now, so. I see. And what's your success rate on installing scales? We've never had one to fail the, the Caltrans inspection yet. And that's one of the things that we guarantee if you bring it into us and we, when we first do our initial inspection of the vehicle and we determine that yes, it can pass Caltrans heavy load inspection, we guarantee it. When we install the scales, we guarantee that it will pass the purple permit. We'll get to the purple permit and get it back to you. Okay, thank you very much for that, Jeff.